Okay, how am I gonna start these things? Brad's on a whiskey journey, come along and see. Brad's discovering whiskey, follow his odyssey. Hey everyone, Brad here from Cask Strength. Just uh, drinking a little bourbon today. A little bit of Woodford Reserve Double Oaked, which I know Vito doesn't like. I haven't tried it yet. I figured I might as well try it for the first time on camera because it would entertain Vito and that's what I look for. So let's pop it open. Not much of a cork squeak, gotta say. Point points off for lack of an awesome cork squeak. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what it's like. So, Woodford Double Oaked. Basically, Woodford Reserve bourbon and then finished in yet another oak barrel. So I, I'm assuming it's going to be oaky. But other than that, uh, I mean, I enjoy Woodford Reserve, the regular one. You know, not mind-blowing, but I enjoy it. So I'd be curious to see what I think about this. It definitely smells like a bourbon. Surprise, surprise. A little, little bit of cherry, a little brown sugar, maybe. Sort of, I guess, standard-ish bourbon notes, as far as my uh, pathetic tasting notes are concerned, at least. I mean, it smells okay. Don't mind that. Just smells like Woodford Reserve. Maybe a little bit more brown sugary. But, uh, yeah, it's maybe a little bit on the, the dark side for a bourbon, which I guess if you're gonna add an extra oak barrel in the finishing there, it might a little bit of extra color makes sense. What is this proof down again? 45.2. So not, not super high, but not low either. That's for really, really respectable level. So okay, definitely high on the, the dark sweetness. Brown sugars, a little bit of that cherry thing again. Maybe some toffee. Um, almost a little bit of dark chocolate. Or is that my brain being weird? I don't know. But that's okay. What's wrong with that? What the hell, Vito? It's good. Yeah, it's like... Oh, Almost the like the aftertaste of dark chocolate, as opposed to like actually on the palate, but just in the finish, like just the like not quite bitter sort of dark chocolate notes in there with the with the brown sugar. I like that. That's that's bad at all. Definitely get more oakiness too, which I was expecting. But yeah, that's all right. I can go for this. I can take this. I don't know what Vito's problem is. Crazy. Crazy person. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, it's just like a, a classic bourbon with maybe just a, a little bit more oakiness and you know, a little hint of dark chocolate, maybe in the, in the finish. But yeah, just a, a solid standard bourbon, with just a, a little bit of extra punch. I like it. What do I rate it though? Hmm. I mean, it's not, it's not mind blowing by any means. It's just, yeah, it's solid. Good. I guess I would give it an all right. It's all right. It's good. It's somewhere between all right and good. Can I, can I do that? That's my scale. I guess I can do it. Yeah, that's somewhere between all right and good. It's like all right and a half. There, to, 
just to mix a lot of metaphors together for a, a tasting scale. Yeah, it's, it's all right. I, I can get by on this. It's all right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I don't know what Theo's problem is. It's, it's tasty. What the hell? Yeah. Cheers. Come on, rats on a whiskey journey. Come along and see. Rats discover an whiskey. Follow his odyssey.